hey hi everyone this is admin from admin 365 and today we are going to talk about how to turn off basic authentication in outlook so let's get started microsoft has turned off basic authentication for all its customers so now if you are using basic authentication with outlook you can get this error where your password is not getting accepted and you can get multiple password prompt your outlook will not be connected as well so there is a fix for it uh, to basically turn off the basic authentication and force the modern authentication what we have to do is we have to simply search for registry editor on the computer as you see here which is already open and uh, in the notepad you can see the path and the value which is required to be entered in the registry what we have to do is we have to simply browse to the location by navigating the keys and here we have microsoft open uh, as you can see we'll scroll down to look for office which should start with o so it is an alphabetically arranged uh, key so you will have to go alphabetically to find a key office and i will click on 16.0 so uh the reason we are opening 16.0 and not 15.0 is because uh, we have the office version installed which is office 16 if you are using office 13 which will have outlook 13 you will have to then choose the 15.0 folder and then navigate further But for now, we'll go on 16.0 folder and in that we'll search for common and under common we'll look for identity. Once we click on identity folder, we should see all the keys in it. Uh, this is the key which we are looking for, which is already present on my computer as my computer is running on modern authentication for Outlook. Uh, the value should be one. The value data for this key should be one to enforce it. If in your computer you see the value data to be zero that means it is forcing outlook to use the basic authentication what you have to do is you have to simply double click on it and change the value data to one from zero and then save it close and reopen outlook and check the behavior in case you don't have any key here we can simply create the key uh, i will let you know the steps as well So what we are going to do is we are going to delete it and we will then create it again uh, by showing you the steps as well. So the identity folder is open. You simply have to right click and click on new D word 32 bit value. Once you click on it, you will get the key there. Then you will have to rename it to the one which we see here. It should be exactly as you see here. So enable and then capital all caps ADAL and it should be the same as you can see here you can type it exactly the same and then once saved you can double click on it to change the value data from 0 to 1 whenever we create a key the value is always 0 so you have to change it to what you want and as we have added it we will simply refresh the registry editor and uh, for you you can simply close the registry editor uh, close all the office application relaunch the outlook application and check if you get prompt for password or not the the way to identify modern authentication with a password prompt is if you see windows security password prompt it is basically a basic authentication prompt but if you see a big microsoft box for password uh, when you sign in into the browser you will see the same as well that means that it is modern authentication and your computer is running on modern authentication. So do let me know guys if you have any question you can drop it in the comment section and you have a nice day. Bye take care.